Let's talk a little bit about Drake London. Now, everybody from USC knows who Drake is, everybody from the Pac-12, West Coast, all that stuff. But I feel like nationally, not enough people really actually understand that there's like this, I think once every couple years type of talent and type of person, like the worker and the human that he is entering the league. He's gonna get drafted super high. I know these teams know who he is, but I wanna just use this time to look under the hood to figure out who this Drake London guy is before he's a household name. And this is the thing, he is not the first 6'5 wide out. He's certainly not the first superstar receiver to leave USC and go to the draft. But I think he is, is the perfect combination of somebody who, he's got all these unique physical talents, but then the person. I've been around wideouts my whole life. I've met all kinds of them. I've played with some Hall of Famers. I've been around a bunch of great guys. I've been around a bunch of busts too. But the type of person he is and his approach to the game, and then factor in this other thing. He's not the first wide receiver who used to play basketball, but he might be the best basketball player to ever enter the NFL draft as a wide receiver who's super smart and wants to understand not just the route he has on that play, but the concept, the quarterback's progression and how coverage is gonna dictate quarterback's progression. That is the key. When I see wide receivers who are asking me those questions, who wanna understand it at that level, I see a guy who can play on any down at any spot on the field. So how I ended up working with Drake as a quarterback coach for a wide receivers pro day. For the last few years, I've, I've helped out a bunch of pass catchers, receivers, running backs, and tight ends. When you're a backup quarterback in the league, you're kind of like the assistant receiver coach. So the only reason this whole thing works with I can come in and help a pass catcher is who's on the other side of this with me. And it's number 84, TJ Hushmanzada. One of my all time favorite teammates, one of the low key, one of the smartest teammates I've ever been around, uh, understanding everything on the field, off the field. And what I learned early on, he's an incredible teacher. You might see him on a podcast, you might see him on Fox, but you should see him on the field. And what I realized throughout this process is that him and I fundamentally believe the exact same things. We just explain them completely different. And I think it ends up being really easy to absorb what we're talking about because I'm looking at it from a quarterback's perspective, he's looking at it from a wideout's perspective. He knows the intricacies on the release and foot placement and why and how, and I can talk through the coverage and the leverage and the angle at which that DB is gonna play. And I think when we get really smart guys who want it really bad, we can just like expedite it really quickly. On his pro day, he's just gonna be able to get a chance to show that he's gonna go up and get it. He can track it, he can one hand stab it, he can get in and out of breaks, and he is as smooth as they come. So I think this is more than anything, a status update for people to get it just to get a chance to see him run in person you know in terms of me throwing it was kind of a perfect storm i mean you got his quarterback last year keaton slovis he's gone jackson dart is at a different school as well mohassan's hurt clay helton the coach is not there anymore now you've got lincoln riley insert caleb williams i don't even know if they've met before thought it was really important that we know exactly where that ball is going and i'm actually going to overthrow him on some i'm going to throw it low i'm going to throw it high and behind him i want to show off his catch radius because you can kind of put it anywhere around him um, and so it's been fun for me to, you know, I've been playing catch for years, but to put on some cleats again and, and try and throw to a super fast guy has been kind of a challenge and, and pretty fun. It's great to see London back on the field. There you see him dapping up Jordan Palmer, who basically conducted the workout. It's one thing that he can run after the catch, but that size he can put to use is so unique. Makes him one of the most unstoppable players amongst the wide receivers in this year's class. 